It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and our first high goes to the postcard-worthy footage sent back from Mars in the week since the Perseverance rover landed there. On Monday, NASA unveiled extraordinary new video of the rover touching down after its seven-month, 293-million-mile journey. The color images are the first of their kind from Mars, captured by five tiny high-def cameras and beamed back to Earth. NASA also released still photos taken from the rover, including the first high-resolution panorama of the planet. The historic mission was made possible by brilliant NASA engineers like Alejandro Miguel San Martin, who became a viral star for his work-from-home celebration of last week's landing. Touchdown. We, we got touchdown. Novel. Remain stable. Social distancing in the control room kept him at home. San Martin was NASA's chief engineer on the previous four Mars landings and served as an advisor on this one, using, yes, his daughter's bedroom as mission control. Working from home looks different for all of us. I can't figure out the Zoom. He landed a vehicle on Mars. Our first low goes to the long, tedious process of packing up your home for a big move, especially when you're taking the entire house with you. Last Sunday, a 139-year-old Victorian home was picked up and moved through the streets of San Francisco to a lot six blocks downhill from its original location. Homeowner Tim Brown paid $400,000 to move the six-bedroom house using a dolly and a truck traveling one mile an hour. The move required 15 city permits as trees and street signs had to be removed to squeeze the house through. The relocation is part of an effort to restore the historic home that was built in 1882 and to build new apartments where it stood. The spectacle turned into a slow-moving six-hour parade with people lining the streets to cheer it along. Boy, at 400 grand, you got to really, really love a house. Our next high goes to Barack the Sheep who received a much-needed makeover this week thanks to the Glam Squad at an animal sanctuary in Australia. Barak was discovered in an Australian forest weighed down by a massive buildup of wool after he was abandoned in the wild for more than five years. Our guy was brought to Edgar's Mission Farm and Sanctuary where he received a long overdue shearing. His heavy load weighed in at more than 78 pounds, just a few off the world record of 90 pounds. The rescuer said Barak was actually underweight and his vision had been impaired after those years in the wilderness, but he now is on the mend and looking sharp, I might add. In a new video, the sanctuary reports Barak is adjusting to his fresh new look and getting more confident every day. Barak looking good after the glow up. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Our final low goes to the UPS driver who got more than he bargained for while out doing the job in North Carolina the other day. We all have heard of guard dogs, but how about a guard rooster? Not cool. Quite a shriek there. That right there is Fred the guard rooster, seen on a home doorbell camera protecting his turf. The homeowner posted video of the low-stake standoff on Facebook, writing, Fred was born angry. This is just the first time we got it on camera. The man then offered his apologies to the driver, who, by the sound of that scream, probably will leave the next package out at the driveway. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.